Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is a prodigy over here. So this is about having some brilliant ideas and putting them into actions over putting it into action over there. So there's something, you know, new that you're thinking about. Um, you are, um, you know, you the first one to come up with it, really. Uh, and it's a really, really, really brilliant idea. Uh, it's something that's going to be, um, you know, cutting edge, really. You can see um, this um, Anubis has got the uh, uh, the knife in his hand. So something that you're going to, to be presenting to people is going to be, because you've got this uh, woman presenting this... Um, tray full of cups there as well so something that you're presenting to people is going to be very very cutting edge and it's based on your experience really so whatever you've learned from your past uh, you are going to be presenting it repackaging it and putting it to people and they're going to be you know it's going to be quite um, going to cause quite a stir up as well and you can see that you've got the Argonaut over here. So this is about making groundbreaking steps, doing something different. So despite the fact that you've got a lot of opposition and competition, you've got this big crocodile over here. So watch out for, for hidden enemies, really. Uh, whatever you're, you're um, putting out is almost groundbreaking. It's new. It's like you're uh, you know, the first person to do this kind of thing. So whatever you're doing is going to change uh, the future quite a bit. And then you've got the solitude card over here. So you've been spending a lot of time by yourself, very, very focused on that work as well. Uh, you've got that sun being the most important thing. And this is how these brilliant ideas have been coming to you. So uh, maybe, you know, spending a lot of time studying, researching, whatever you're doing, um, but a lot of alone time there, uh, and a, a lot of time with your work. So maybe even working independently of everybody else. Now, in the past, you got the return over here. So there has been a uh, you know, point where maybe you've um, had to go back and review whatever you've been learning with this return card over here. You've started something brand new as well, but you've, uh, whatever you've started has been based on all the skills that you've acquired uh, in your past. There's been a lot of problems there. You've got the impediments card over here. So maybe a lot of obstacles, a lot of things that you had to deal with uh, you know, um, that cropped up. Um, and uh, you've had managing, you're managing to sort through that. Now, going into the future, you've got um, something unexpected coming in for you. So there's some kind of um, something surprise, uh, something of a surprise that's coming, some information coming your way. You've got this archer with the arrow. So um, you know something uh, big coming, some kind of news that's going to be stirring up a lot of um, you know uh, change. Uh, but it was some, it could even be some kind of challenge that comes in that you didn't expect. You've got the Emperor card over there that follows. So you need to be uh, take control of that situation, really, with that Emperor card. Um, it could be even a legal issue that comes in. The Emperor is always about legal justice because um, it is a card ruled by Archangel Michael. So there could be some kind of legal issue that might come in unexpectedly over there. So just be aware that that could come in quite quickly or even legal news that comes in. Whatever that situation is, you need to uh, you know, take control of that situation. Make sure that you are um, managing your finances and resources very, very carefully with that uh, emperor card over there. But something very, very unexpected coming in. Now, with the emperor, it's always you know, about a legal decision that comes in. So you've got that archer of, you know, in front of it. So a legal decision coming in very, very quickly, something very, very unexpected. Uh, so just be aware that that could well be the case. Uh, and whatever goes on, you will be able to sort it out, but make sure that you're very, very organized. Uh, you have, um, you know, plans in place. That's very, very important. Um, and you know how to deal with things. Uh, and you take control, take charge of that situation. So those are the uh, energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing the book of uh, drawing cards from the book of um, <laughs> the book of shadows tarot. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, let's do this. It's the heat. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Wands over here. So this is about 
taking on a lot of responsibilities and burdens and having to defend yourself all the way and have going facing a lot of problems and challenges and working very hard to try to sort these problems out. It looks like it might be keeping you up at night as well. Uh, and you're very, very focused on it. You're trying to sort through these things, but uh, there's a lot of issues that you are uh, trying to deal with or trying to sort through. So there might be multiple projects that you're dealing with, or you could be dealing with a lot of difficult people as well with this particular um, card. Uh, and you're trying to sort them out. Um, you know, you're in the, this is a card usually of defense. So you are defending yourself or you, you're feeling very defensive. Maybe a lot of people attacking you. And you're trying to sort through these problems one at a time. Uh, and it's very tiring. You are exhausted uh, from having to deal with so many issues at this particular moment. So you've got uh, the Nine of Swords over here, and you can see there, uh, the Knave of Cups. So, you know, with these two cards over here, uh, this is the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords in themselves. So dealing with a lot of problems and being very stressed out, not sleeping at night, uh, you know, being very, very um, anxious as well. Uh, you can see this huge buzzard over there. So, uh, you know, dealing with very, very difficult people and people almost trying to cut your throat when you're not looking. So, you know, people that are um, almost causing a lot of problems for you. Uh, so that's why you're probably in a very, very defensive position. You've got the Knave of Cups over here. It looks like you're doing a lot of self-reflection as well, but this is also the card of maybe some offer coming in for you there. So, uh, you know, you're looking at, uh, at your life quite critically right now. Uh, this could be, uh, like I said, this could be an offer that comes in for you, that Knave of Cups. But this could also be a lot of self-evaluation. -evalu you're asking yourself, is this what I want? Uh, and, you know, is this worth it? <laughs> this, it looks like that's what's going on for you right now. Because you're in a position where you're very, very stressed out, not sleeping as well, and also dealing with so many difficult people. Now, you've got the Eight of Wands over here, and this is about things moving very, very quickly. You can see she's even trying to manifest. So you've been working pretty hard to bring these projects, uh, you know, um, to light, or you've been working very hard to try and make things into reality, whatever thoughts you had, whatever ideas you've had. Well, the Eight of Wands is about a lot of movement, a lot of travel, a lot of communication, and dealing with a lot of people. They might be people that are foreign to you as well, because they are the Wands card. So you've been very, very busy. And you can see that with the Nine of Wands, being very, very busy sorting through things. Interestingly enough, the card below it is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. And uh, that is about working so hard. Uh, and, you know, just um, the Knight of Pentacles, a very, very hard working knight, is just so focused, being very, very hands-on. And you've taken on all this responsibility and burdens. And it's left you pretty stressed out at this particular moment. You can see even this woman's feet are so tired. So, uh, you know, you can see that she's been worked off her feet. Now, you've got the justice card over here, there. You might be le dealing with legal issues with that justice card. You might be dealing with official issues. Maybe a judgment has been passed. But this is also trying to get that balance back uh, between your work life and your rest. Uh, and maybe what is suffering now is the fact that you are working so much and not getting enough rest. And also, because you're stressed out, you're not sleeping well, because she's awake over there, and she looks like she's really very, very tired. So you are, you know, very, very out of balance at the moment. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, you know, you are feeling this. The, the uh, Devil card is usually a card uh, owned by Capricorn. So Capricorn is uh, um, the sign that... Um, uh, this card represents. However, in your case, uh, being a Capricorn, it looks like, you know, you are, uh, maybe whatever you're doing has been presented to you as something that you need to do in order for you to get success. So you need to work this hard and you need to be distressed out in order for you to achieve, uh, you know, this ice cream or the cherry on the top. And maybe you're feeling very, very, um, um, you know, restricted, manipulated, controlled by this particular job that you're doing because it's taking up all your time uh, it's even taking uh, up all your um, your rest uh, so it's eating away at a lot of uh, what you're doing it's quite um, you know it's almost like an obsession uh, where you're working very very hard in order for you to achieve that goal you know it seems like you feel like you work this hard if you put that much of effort into it it's definitely going to pay off and pay off handsomely and that is the thing that is manipulating you or controlling how hard you work and how much you're giving into this particular job and now maybe you're starting to question that particular 
uh, idea about whether or not this job is just taking too much. It's having its toll, taking its toll on you. Now going into the future, you've got the chariot card. And maybe this is a need for you to even spend more time with family. Um, but the chariot card is about uh, also taking control, being in charge of whatever team you're working with and leading them to success. So this is where you're at at the moment. You're in control. You could be even, uh, you know, you could be even moving uh, or relocating to even do this job somewhere else. There could be a lot of travel that's involved with this particular job. You seem to be in charge of a team of people as well. They see you as a very maternal kind of figure. Maybe this is the reason why you've been taking on so much of responsibility uh, because, you know, you're taking a lot of the burdens off the team by taking on the, those responsibilities. And maybe, you know, you do need to um, get out of that energy of being maternal in this particular job and rather delegate a lot of that responsibility to people around you. Have faith that they can do it because if you've trained them well, they should be able to do it. Uh, and, you know, get some of that stress off your back, really. So you are leading them towards success because the chariot card is about attaining goals. Uh, and, um, but maybe, you know, you do need to delegate some of that responsibility in order for you not to be so stressed out. Now, you've got the Eight of Swords. This is another stressed out card where you're feeling so, uh, you know, um, overwhelmed almost by the work that you're doing. You can see there are all these bo boards here in the background. It's a lot of books everywhere. And she's so exhausted, she's fallen asleep. Uh, so this is being so stressed out by the work that you're doing and putting so much of effort into it that it is affecting your sleeping. Your, it, it might be that you're sleeping during the day or falling asleep at inappropriate times because you are working so hard. And this is being very tied up in that situation. Now, if you have to look at it from a legal point of view, there could be some kind of issue that you're dealing with that's causing you to be stuck in a particular situation. But from, from the way this deck uh, reads, it looks like this is what is going on in your work life, where you're so stressed out, you're not getting enough sleep, uh, you're having to uh, present a lot of things, you're in charge of some kind of team uh, where you're taking control. They seem to be very unruly as well. Uh, you can see all these children fighting in the background over there and they're doing their own thing. Maybe they don't listen to you, this particular team, and this is the reason why you have to take complete control. But it's taking a lot out of you and it's tiring you out. And you're feeling very uh, stuck in this particular job um, and it's causing a lot of stress as well. Now, uh, what's going on around you? It looks like uh, something new is going to be presented to you. So this is either a new job offer. Uh, or even an opportunity to learn, because it's the Ace of Cups, so this could be a new study, or it could be even a position that comes in that allows you to teach or to mentor people. But whatever comes in for you is going to be really uh, something that you want, because uh, you've got this cup overflowing over here, so something that is really going to give you that emotional satisfaction that you want. Um, so, uh, you know, it's something really good that will be coming in, so it's a really great offer that comes in. Now, on your mind, you've got that Queen of Wands, so you've got a lot of people, or you're dealing, you know, you're, you're always taking on that maternal road where you're almost reprimanding people for doing things uh, that they shouldn't be doing. So, you know, maybe this child has started this fire over here, and you can see in the background over here of this woman in the chariot card, uh, all these children are fighting in the background over there, and, you know, while she's trying to get things sorted or trying to get the driving done, there's a lot of problems going on. So you might be dealing with people that are pretty unruly and are not, uh, you know, uh, getting into line or not following whatever you want to, uh, want them to do. Starting off problems, maybe there's petty arguments going on over there and maybe you're having to reprimand them, uh, you know, for whatever they're doing. So it's a lot of responsibilities that you're taking on. Now you've got the death card over here, you've got the six of wands and uh, the seven of cups. So with the death card over here, it looks like, you know, she's got the sale card over here, giving up everything and moving on. So it looks like you're going to end the situation. Maybe it's gotten a bit out of control, a lot of, a bit out of hand. Maybe there's this new job offer that comes in that is what you've been waiting for your whole life. And it looks like, you, you know, she's packed her car and she's moving on, sold to the house and she's moving on. So you might relocate to do this job. You might just put an end to the situation, decide that you've had enough and uh, just uh, go and do something that makes you happy. It looks like that's what you're going towards because there's a lot of stress that is going on and you're having to deal with a lot of people as well. Now, the chariot card in itself is also about home relocation because it's a card of movement. It might be that you're buying a new home as well. 
So you've got two cards, maybe ending this particular cycle, or ending this uh, job that you're at, and uh, just relocating, going, buying a home somewhere else, packing your family up and actually moving off. Looks like that's coming in for you. Uh, and uh, once that does, uh, you've got that uh, six of wands. So whatever this new move is, whatever this new job is, it's going to get you to the top of your career. So it's just that last bit, that last step. So whatever it is, this new job, is it's a promotion from where you are at. So it improves your uh, career status as well. And it looks like that's where you're going. And this is the card of victory over there, just going up that career ladder and just hanging in there. Uh, you know, and uh, um, although it's been a very, very hard climb, it looks like this is something that you want, and you're very, very close to victory and achieving the goals that you want. Now, you've got the Seven of Cups over here, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, um, options, opportunities available. Like I said, it could be this particular new offer might involve study as well. So you've got a lot of choice available for some reason. So maybe you made a multiple job applications or there are multiple positions being offered to you, uh, you need to do your research and find out. Whatever this new thing is, is going to involve working with education. It could be involved with working with teaching. Um, you know, you can, you've got a lot of books in this particular card, uh, and this is one of the options, and a lot of studying. Now, you might be specializing. Maybe this is an opportunity for you to uh, specialize in whatever field you're working as well. And maybe you're thinking or considering whether or not you should take it. You need to stop procrastinating with this particular card. Stop daydreaming and start putting things into action. So if it is further learning that you want to do or even teaching that you want to do, uh, you need to be the one that takes control of that situation. Make a decision and go for it. So it looks like you might be moving off, moving home, starting off something uh, brand new on this side. Uh, because it looks like on that side there's a lot of hard work. You're very, very tired very, very stressed out, and maybe now you've had more than enough. This opportunity comes in for you very soon because, uh, you know, they're one after the other here. So being very tied up, but it looks like a new opportunity coming for you, and that's going to improve your life. And it might involve further study or education or even teaching people. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. So you've got the moon card over here, and this is about powerful intuition, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, and uh, understanding the truth of a situation. This is a new moon over here, so you're going to be beginning something new. Right now, it looks like you're pretty confused, uh, not sleeping well at night, and uh, maybe a bit depressed and a bit stressed out with that moon card. There might be something hidden as well, so you do need to go and do some research as well when the moon card appears. Uh, you've got the Prince of Spring. Now, this is about relocating, changing jobs, uh, even moving country to actually do your job. So immediate action, a challenge, you can successfully manage a passionate relationship. So this is about travel, uh, and this is about dealing with challenges as well. So overcoming any kind of problems and issues, but needing to act pretty quickly. So, you know, instead of procrastinating with that Seven of Cups, you need to make a decision pretty quickly. If it's to accept this new offer, you need to do it pretty quickly. And it might involve relocating uh, and moving on. Or, or even that job might involve a lot of travel as well with that Prince of Spring. And the final card is the Hermit. Now, this Hermit is ruled by Virgo, and it Virgo rules uh, teaching or further education. And so find a mentor or be a mentor. Take a, a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. So it looks like whatever you're going to start doing is going to involve further study. You've got that card over there with that Eight of Swords. You need to, maybe you're writing some exam and, uh, you know, you, um, right now, and by passing that exam, you'll be able to get that promotion and move on. Uh, it looks like, you know, from the results of whatever happens, if you're writing some exam and, you know, hoping to pass it, it looks like, you know, that happens because you, you manage to put an end to that old situation. That old situation comes in. It gets you um, moving on along your career path and also gives you more opportunities for further study. Um, and, uh, you know, it gives you more options available. So it looks like with that hermit card being focused on the work, maybe further study coming in as well. Uh, but there's something that keeps you very solitary, some kind of work where you are specialist. The Virgo, uh, Virgo also rules specialization or, um, in whatever job you're doing. Uh, it is the card of work as well, Her, um, you know, 
a vulgar rules uh, intellectual work. So being very focused, very centered, very organized as well, but spending a lot of time by yourself. You can see there's a star of David over there, so this is about success in whatever you're doing as well. So there could be further study coming in for you, and if you're writing exams or so forth, it looks like there is success that comes in. Whatever comes in, it looks like you're going to be able to move off, uh, and even with that Prince of Spring is relocating and starting a job somewhere else, where you'll be either teaching or even studying further. So, uh, you know, you're getting rid of all that stress, moving on to something new. So a big change is coming in for you pretty soon. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.